Section 1.1 derivatives. Now let's look at an example of a problem that we will do in this section. Let f of x equal to x to the power p over q. p, q, x, and x0 are all positive. Keep it simple here. So we're just supposed to show f prime x0 equal to n x0 and minus 1. Now that is a very fundamental uh, formula from elementary calculus, where n is p over q. And of course, we all know that. But suppose you have to prove it. How would you go about proving it with just the fundamental uh, definition of the derivative? So the, here's a hint for this problem is you will replace x with u, x1 over q with u, and x0 one of, to the power 1 over q with u0. The purpose of this is just so that everything looks a little neater and cleaner. So let's proceed with the hint. And remember that as, so because the way is defined as x approach x0, u has to approach u0, okay? Because from the definition. So let's look at what f prime is. Now f prime of x is going to be equal to, f prime of x0 is going to be equal to the limit as the, by definition, okay? x0 of this particular fraction, which is fx minus f0, there's no zero there, fx0 divided by x minus x0. And we are going to do algebra from this point to do all this plugging in and substituting and all. So let's put it in. We have, so this is the limit of, of fx is, um, is this thing right here. So we will have, have um, if we substitute u, then it will be, u to the power of p, okay, because uh, because the definition of what fx is and their definition of u. So u to the power of p minus u zero to the power of p divided by, and what is x? Well, x is just u to the power of q. So x is u to the power of q, oops. Now x is u to the power of q, and then x0 is u0 to the power q. So we have this uh, the limit of this thing. And then we are going to do, what is this fraction? This is going to be, you will factor this thing out with a, a very basic factoring formula when you have two variables that has the same power and there's a subtraction sign there. So there exists a formula that shows you that this thing factors into this. It becomes u minus u0. Uh, times a big load of stuff, okay? The load of stuff is you start with u p minus one, okay, you lose one power here because there's one there, and then plus, and you keep going down, minus two, u zero, and you just, and u zero's power keep going up so that you eventually make it to, to u zero to the power p minus one. And the same way with the bottom, except the bottom has q. And how many terms are in here? If you count it carefully and look at how it goes, it goes from 0 to power 1 to p minus 1, and there's one more. So together, there are p items on top. Now, the same way on the bottom, you have u minus u0, and then to the power q minus 1, because we have to reach q here, plus q minus 2, u to the power q minus 2 times u0, and you keep going all the way down to uh, u0 to the power q minus 1. Now, this formula is a standard formula in the elementary calculus. If you don't remember it, you can multiply this out, and we'll very soon figure out why that this is true. Anyway, again, this is uh, the, u, the acute items on the bottom. Okay, and p items on top. Now the next step, so now we are doing the limit, so let's allow, so let, now let u approach u0. So if we let u go to u0, this stuff will cancel out, okay? And then uh, what we have left here is uh, p items on top, and these items are all the same because u becomes u0, see? So each one becomes u0, u0, p minus 1, and we have p of them, each one of these things. 
become that, and there's p of them total. And the same on the bottom, we have q times u0, q minus 1. If you add up all this stuff, because u is approaching, u is u0 at this point. Now, and then you do some more algebra, and you get p over q, and do the, this is subtraction of the indexes since you have the same base. So you have u0, p minus q, because the minus 1 gets subtracted itself out. <coughs> All right, and the next thing we are going to do is uh, put x back in u0. What is x? x is related to u0 in this relationship. That is, uh, in other words, x x0 is the same as u0 to the power q, okay? which we've already used it here. Mm, yeah, anyway, so, um, so then we have cleaned this out. We have use x, it becomes x0, p minus q is um, to the power 1 over q. Okay, we will substitute, the point is we substitute this thing in here. We don't actually need that. But anyway, the point is that let's substitute it in. And uh, we have, because of this formula, okay, we plug this thing in here, we get this, and uh, which is p over q x0, p over q, minus 1. And that's the, that is essentially what we're trying to prove here. Because this is what we're trying to prove. And then if n equals to p over q, then, then it is true that f prime of x is equal to n x, well, you can have a 0 here, and minus 1. That is what we're trying to prove. So that's all very, come up fairly nicely. Now, so, but we have uh, assumed in this proof that x is to, to a power of rational number, you know, p over q are integers. Now, what if p, over, p and q are not integers? That is, um, suppose you have another pro similar problem, but this time we will say f of x equals to x power c, where c is irrational, okay? Then what? If c is irrational, then we can't pull this trick at all because there's no PQ that will replace it. But let's say for this problem that assume that we know, okay, assume we know that that the derivative of the of the exponent is equal to itself. So let's say we know this. We, we're allowed to use this. And then that there's a fairly quick proof to show that what the derivative of this thing is. <clears throat> So then um, it will come out to looking uh, very the same as the other. So what we're going to do is um, we'll let x power, power c, we'll turn it into an e, which is e to the power, e log x, okay, to the power c. e log x is just x. And remember the log is for, uh, represents the base e only. From now on in the, in, in uh, mathematics, log only represents e. We don't care about the base 10 anymore. So then we have, if it's this, then you have to calculate f prime of, of the, of f prime of x. And, and given that you know the derivative laws of the exponent, we will apply it, which is c log x, which is itself then the derivative of the index, which is multiplied by c over x. Okay, that's the derivative of the log. So then, and this is the same as, this is the same as the function itself, okay, which is x to the power c times c log x divided by x, which is the same as cx c minus 1. So again, we have figured out, which is the same formula as this, that, but this, of course, is uh, we're using this, and rather than using the fundamental principle, so this is a little bit of a cheat here. But it can, this is just showing you, if you have to, you can prove it, assuming that you know the exponent function. So let's look at more examples in the next video.